Beautiful Libras, how are you today? Welcome to everyone. Glad you stopped by. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome. We're going to look at your thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions love reading for the person of interest that drew you to the reading. We see the overall energy is fortune's wheel, luck and right timing, and we have the wheel of fortune as one of your outcome cards in terms of your person's actions. So they're looking at timing before they act, sky riding the fates. So fate will step in. There's something destined about all of this. And we have closing the door, completion. So something is going to be closed out in this person's cycle. So let's look and see their thoughts. Their thoughts are that they need to invest Virgo energy. Your person wants to get to know you, get to know all about you. They are releasing the energy of dating multiple people or juggling two people. Your person wants to focus on you. That's their thought. When they think of the you, they think of someone who's very hardworking, somebody with whom they have a great time. They see you as a good comrade, a good friend, a very special friend. They have a very passionate desire for you. They want to move forward in a very steady, stable action and in a way that you can really trust. Again, they also are looking and hoping that they can get you or convince you to release dating other people. So when we look at their heart space, look at this. We have, they feel very possessive, my friends. They feel very possessive. They want to hold on to you. They're a little bit jealous. They want to give you the best that life has to offer. They want to nurture you. They want to love you. They want to show you. They want to, quote unquote, daddy you or nurture you in a very, very tender hearted way. We see your person watches you on social media in their heart space. They're always looking for the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The Hierophant card, they love that you are traditional. They absolutely want to have a traditional relationship with you. The movement of swords says that they want to move rapidly. They want to tell you how they feel. The judgment card appears twice here. So what we see is that your person is releasing something. They're finishing a cycle. We see them in terms of their intentions of having a new love beginning with you. They're very obsessed. They're rushing in to tell you what they hope and desire. And the Heart of Swords, they're making a head over heart decision. They're making a very conscious decision that if they want you, that they have to absolutely date you exclusively and be with you. This person is obsessed. They obsessively think about how they want to have a relationship with you. They obsessively think, and that, that's devil toxic energy of Capricorn, but they want to manipulate or control a little too much. You know, we get devil energy, that's toxic. When we look at their actions, they will do anything to keep you from walking away. The five of coins, the wheel of fortune. We have the, the king of wands energy. So they're going to be very fi fiery, very feisty. They're going to take a leadership role. But what I'm seeing here is that you are walking away. You are upset with them. They may have promised you, and it looks like they did. The Five and Seven of Swords are, are the lying, cheating, I want to win at all costs cards. And then the process, they hurt you or they will hurt you. So I would tell you that you have to be careful with this person. You know, they are very much about the truth, but they don't seem to really pay attention to the fact that they expect you to be totally fully honest, and yet they haven't been that way with you. Their obsession is leading them into closing the door um, on other situations, which is appropriate, but it also is leading them to be less than forthcoming with you. We see that their fear that you're going to walk away may come to pass. Uh, the closing door, let's take a look, Libra, and see what we have for how you feel about this person. Typically, I don't do this, but when I get all that negative energy, I really want to see where your reaction lies in all of this. Because to me, this looks like you walking away. 
locking that person out, taking authority over your own life, even though those are the things they really want to do. So let's see, Libra. This is a six card spread, six of cups. You are sweet on this person. You do see them as somebody valuable. Six of swords, you are willing to forgive and heal different aspects of anything that they could have done or said. Let's see what else we have here. We have Ten of Pentacles. So you really want a very wonderful relationship in which there is a possibility of a legacy marriage, one in which there's wealth, abundance, long-term commitment. The Nine of Wands, you have fire in your belly for this person. Let's see what the best that can be achieved is in this relationship should you stay. Okay, King of Wands energy, it's here also. So you do find this person very sexy, very charming, very exciting. You want to have long term with them. And your outcome card in terms of what you will do is the Empress. So, all right. So basically what I would say, because you are very inclined to want to give this person every chance, we see the Wheel of Fortune coming in. We see you in this leadership role, but we really see you very much in search of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You're going to clarify that. You're going to have that. If you have that, then you will go ahead and move into this beautiful, abundant energy of Ten of Coins. So Libra, that's the reading I have for you. Sending you love from Chicago since I'm back. Tell me what you think about the reading. Leave a comment. I'm so grateful for all your views, likes, shares, comments. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thanks, Libra.